welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, episode 19. So, it's been about four days since I last played this game, and well, now of course, I'm probably anticipating my skill will probably be lower than it usually is, even though obviously I don't have much skill. And, well, essentially overall, we are now going to head over, of course, to our next event in the game, which is going to be the Wagon Cup. And to anyone who is officially wanting to know the recaps about the previous segment I did, well, originally for the... Uh, second two races of the Historic Car Cup, the second and third races respectively, I originally thought about using the Mercury Cougar. I then realised I had to switch over to the Dodge Challenger, mainly because I knew very well the Cougar was only illegible for one race in the Historic Car Cup, unfortunately, and well. As you can also see here, my win ratio has uh, dropped down quite considerably, in my honest opinion, because obviously, that GT40, in that cup alone, that Ford GT40 is literally a whore, considering it literally took me probably three attempts to win on the Rome circuit and probably six attempts to win at Grindelwald. Well, two attempts to win at Rome, probably six attempts at Grindelwald. Also because essentially overall, with my stubbornness, I didn't even bother racing the GT40 whenever it popped up. But anyways, before I start going off on a rant, let's now head over, of course, to the main screen. And we, of course, are going to head over to East City because, well, that's essentially where we're basically purchasing all of our cars right now. And I'm going to head over to Subaru. I did some scouting to see what wagons were available to me, and there wasn't really many, of course, that were cheap. I thought about getting this one, you know, mainly because it's essentially the cheapest wagon I could find. But essentially, overall. Oh, wait a minute. I also thought about getting this one, you know, mainly because, well, it keeps my money in tandem and also because essentially, overall, I like this blue. I really do like this blue. And well. Respectively. I think overall, since I knew very well that essentially Subaru was probably the best place I could go to to search for a wagon, I think I will get this one. You know, just because I want to. Also, because essentially overall, unlike many other people who have done the Wagon Cup, I dare to be different. So. I'm going to head over to the turbo department and essentially overall I'm going to do some tuning. Oh, so I'm going to put on the stage 1 turbo and I think the maximum horsepower cap officially is around about 394 horsepower so that should be enough in terms of tuning anyway. And so now of course, we can head over to the race events to officially get on with our next event. And it's not here on the second page, but it's over here on the third page, the Wagon Cup. So 394 horsepower is the maximum horsepower cap you officially get for all three of these races as we are going to Rome Short, Super Speedway 
is also in this cup, as we are now racing down for the first time, and also Special Stage Route 5, another circuit that we are racing at for the first time. So let's head to race 1 and see how we do. Hopefully if it's possible, these wagons will not be too much of a challenge. And well, as far as I know of course, I probably have got enough power on this thing to account it as officially being, you know, suitably competitive enough to win all three of these races and hopefully if it's possible I may be able to get a clean sweep, but we shall wait and see. Let's head to race one as I've also put on my analog mode as I usually fucking do. Let's see how we go with the legacy. And already I'm off to a good start as of which I'm already up into first place before approaching the first corner. So the start of this race has already gone better than I thought it was going to, surprisingly. And I break early as we also have a Mazda 323F on this event. Along of course with another Subaru Legacy. I think that's a Nissan Stagia that's also in this event. As we have. Oh no, I wonder if that one is the Stagia. I also don't know for sure which one is which, but I'm fairly certain that's a Mazda 323F. Let's see how we go. And I believe it's possible. I may be able to win this on my first attempt, considering obviously it does make it easier for me to know that essentially overall the max horsepower cap is essentially the same for pretty much all three of these races. And somehow I did manage to go on the defense against the Mazda entering the corner, so I do manage to hold on to the lead at least. And hopefully if it's possible I shall be able to hold on to it up to the line. As we now enter the final corner, onto the start finish straight. Touching the wall a little bit there, but... I shall win race number one in my Subaru Legacy Wagon. So we had a Honda Accord wagon in this event, along with a Mazda 323F, as I said before. A Toyota Caldina was also in this event, along with another Legacy wagon, the 93 model. And we also had a Nissan Stagia in this event as well, 260RS. So essentially overall, my fellow Legacy had eventually finished in fifth. And we also got a new car. And well, as for replay, I'm not gonna save it here at Rome Short because, well, I think I've already saved a replay at Rome Short, so I don't think it will really matter that much, considering most of my previous thumbnails have essentially come on the room circuit, but anyways, let's now head to race 2 at Super Speedway. And hopefully, if I am fortunate, like with the previous race, I should be able to win this on my first attempt. Let's head to it, and we shall see how we go. For two laps of Super Speedway. 
Also, as I did mention before, this is the first time in the game that we are actually racing at Super Speedway. Which, as far as I know, of course, would also make a... Which, as far as I know, of course, is a circuit that would also... That, that would also reappear in GT3 as well. And just as I predicted, I'm already up into the lead once again in my legacy, and everyone is getting spread out a bit here. Also, furthermore, I really like I really like the fact I'm saying that essentially that part of the circuit of the circuit is actually is actually actually has a roof above it. Yeah I had to think about what it was I was gonna say but yeah there is actually but yeah but yeah that part of the circuit is actually is actually roofed over for some reason and I actually like that. Coming closer, but it will be another victory for me and my legacy wagon. Two out of two to me. So we had a Mitsubishi Lightning in this event, the R4. A Impressa wagon was also in this event, along with Along with another legacy wagon in this event, we also had we also had a Nissan Stagia in this event, along with another Toyota Calvina. So most of the field virtually the same, except from saying obviously this time we didn't have any masters. I win race two. Of course, I am going to save the replay here. Because I do want to see if I can actually give myself a reasonable shot of my legacy. Through one of the four corners there. Two down, one to go. And that is at special stage route five. To see how we do. Anyways, let's head to race three. In my legacy wagon. I also really like the fact I'm saying that essentially whenever this car launches off the line and the rear of the thing is that the rear of this car is actually is actually is actually is actually dragging down from the launch. I think that is actually a nice feature. Doesn't make it do, doesn't it make it's almost as if I'm looking at a dragster or something. Whenever I whenever I see the rear move itself down. As we still have the old clock tower that was previously featured in GT1. So essentially overall most of the circuits from GT1 had returned to GT2. Or I should probably say 
pretty much all but one circuit from GT1. It officially returned to this game. I also really like... I also really like, you know, the, the little sound effect you get, you know, from... You know, from the uh, turbo gauge, from when you actually, you know, hear that little shh sound. Whenever you, whenever you're essentially shifting gears. I do, I do actually like that sound effect. I'm not gonna lie. It's a, it's certainly be nice, of course, if Polyphony were able to bring that little sound effect back, because I actually like that one. But anyways. I'm going to hold a narrow lead over the stage here at the moment. I think that's the legacy that is uh, currently in third at the moment, although he is battling for a second with the stage here. I do not know who is behind me. But I'm fairly sure one of them is probably a Scooby, which is a common nickname for a Subaru. I'm sure there's probably also a Mazda in this field as well, along with, along with a Nissan, probably also a Mitsubishi as well. But anyways... Heading through the final chicane, and I just clicked the wall. Although, fortunately, if it's possible, that will not be as costly of a mistake as it would have been in GT1 with this course. Considering I did hit that wall previously, but it looks as though this time I'm, I am going to come away with a clean sweep. Three out of three. For the legacy. And everyone just suddenly dives down my inside. Okay. So we had a Nissan Primera wagon in this event, along with another Mazda 323F wagon, another Subaru Legacy Wagon GT was in this event, along with a Honda Accord wagon and Surprisingly overall, after running pretty much second for most of the race, the stage here and eventually finished in last. And was just over a second behind me, but anyways. The Wagon Cup is now complete. And just before I forget, obviously since this is the final race of the Wagon Cup. I, of course, need to save the game. Also known as the Station Wagon Cup if you are playing the NTSC US version of this game. Checking to see if I've saved a replay. Yes, I have. And now we can move on. So relatively easy overall in terms of, you know, winning the thing. And now of course we are going to head over to the home page. To check out our three new prize cars. Also because well, since I have lots of probably FF and FR cars in this Essentially, overall, the one thing I did not have was a wagon before I bought the Legacy. And now we can get a look at our three new prize cars. So, from winning race one, we win a Subaru Impreza Wagon WRX STI version V. Although, I think that's probably version 5, as far as I know. Yeah, probably version 5, but, you know. And from race, from race 2, we win a Mugen Accord wagon. Although I'm not entirely sure about the rims, though. 
I mean, chassis is fine, but as for the rims themselves, I honestly don't know. But still, this car is definitely wide. Even though, surprisingly, Pontiac did once say, Wider is better, to quote in the Pontiac Grand Prix ad. From 99, I think it was. And we also get a Nissan Stagia 260RS, tuned by Nismo. And I'm not gonna lie, this car is definitely striking in yellow. And furthermore, yes, I did just say that mainly because of how fucking bright the colour is. But still, that is definitely striking, I'm not gonna lie. And so, as a result of that, we are now up to 16.89% complete with the game. And of course, I have managed to move my win ratio back up as well. Let's fucking go. But anyways, that was the Wagon Cup. Next up is the FR Challenge. And will we win it? Well, you will just have to wait and find out. But until then, stay tuned for more GT2.